Kim Zalsiak and Corey Beerman slashed the asking price of their Georgia mansion by $500,000, page 6 can confirm. After listing their two-story, seven-bedroom and 11-bathroom Milton house at a whopping $6 million two months ago, the couple was forced to reconsider amid the lack of offers. TMZ was the first to report the news on Tuesday. The price drop of their home, which was originally valued at $3 million, comes as the estranged couple's financial troubles continue to grow and their divorce gets messier. Zalsiak, whom Bierman has accused of having reckless spending habits and a love for online gambling, was first sued by Target for $2,482.24 in unpaid credit card bills. Sachs slash Capital One also filed a lawsuit against the Bravo Liberty for more than $150,000 in unpaid credit card fees. As for the former Atlanta Falcons player, BMW Financial Services sued Beerman for skipping out on payments of his $400,000 Rolls Royce. He was also sued by his lawyer over unpaid fees in his contentious divorce from Zalsiak. Due to their mounting debt and split, a judge granted the Don't Be Tardy alumni permission to sell their mansion, which has faced foreclosure twice, to pay off their debt. Zalsiak has also turned to selling her daughter Brielle Beerman's luxury goods, as well as Croy's, to regain some financial ground. She has also seemingly partnered with Celebrity Buzz to cash in on clicks from their ad-filled website. Their financial issues were part of the reason why the estranged couple decided to call it quits on their 12-year marriage in August. Since then, a judge ordered Beerman and the former Real Housewives of Atlanta to live at separate ends of their home as they accused each other of abuse and battle for custody of their children. Croy and Zalsiak's tension came to a boiling point in an extremely loud altercation, which forced one of their children to call the cops last month. In body cam footage, Croy yelled at police that his family's lives were destroyed while also accusing Zalsiak of F, king other men. Police also reported that one of the minors in the home told them that it looked like Croy may have hit Kim, further detailing that he put his hand into her face, with his fingers extended, for entertainment tonight.